In his letter to the church in Galatia, Paul says that we must live by the Spirit. He contrasts this with living by the flesh. He doesn't literally mean that the things of the flesh are wrong. He means that there are earthly desires, and he lists them, fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, that lead us away from God. As we shall see in another session, these are what the church calls sin, things we say and do which fall short of the standards of God. By contrast, he then lists what he calls the fruit of the Spirit. These are love, joy, peace, patience, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The image of fruit is significant. It is used in the Bible a lot. A good tree will bear good fruit. The very first psalm begins with these words, Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path that sinners tread, but their delight is in the law of the Lord. They are like trees planted by streams of water which yield their fruit in due season. Jesus himself says, No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. The good person, out of the good treasure of the heart, produces good. Therefore, if we are to lead good, fulfilled and fruitful lives, we need to be rooted in Jesus Christ. This happens through the Holy Spirit. Then, the Holy Spirit of Jesus, his presence with us, enables us to bear good fruit, the sort of fruit that Paul lists. This is the constant work of the Holy Spirit, bringing things together for good. This happens in the lives of individuals and churches, and through them it works for the good of the whole community. God longs for there to be peace and justice in the world. He works to bring that about through his spirit-filled church, planted itself in what is good and bearing fruit for the good of all.